On this episode of Introverted Traveler, we are headed out to Fort Moultrie on Sullivan's Island. This fort is famous for its use in the Civil and World Wars and also being the fort that Edgar Allan Poe was once stationed at. Once inside the Welcome Center, you discover the history surrounding the fort and the rangers there give you information packets that aid in independent tours. Just been 
like one of the most amazing sounds you have ever heard. So I just wanted you guys to hear that. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to the next part. Gee, I'm so excited.
What's down there, man? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Sort of prepare for the end of the world type stuff. <laughs> That's awesome. So we went from Civil War to World War II. Oh, yeah. That clock functions. That clock still functions. <laughs> cool. Okay, so World War II, this is what you would see when you walked in here, the duty officer. Oh, the ladies. And I'm pretty sure, guys, that they had stuff that was uh, more revealing than that. <laughs> cool radio. Some propaganda poster. It says, when it's up to you. It's probably like, when is the war over? When will he be caught? That sort of thing. So we're just going through here. They've set this all up so you can see, like, if you're a soldier and you reported here, this is exactly what it would look like. There's your commanders in chief. There's your posters. Looks a lot like any other office that you would see today, right? Pretty much. Pretty cool. This is the part we've never actually been in before. At least I don't remember it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Radio room. Let's see if I can get it to focus on a little bit better. Not put it right up on the glass. There we go. This is pretty awesome to me. Flow chart too. Yep, flow charts. Auxiliary power. Look at this Uncle Sam poster. I've never seen this kind of Uncle Sam poster before. You got what it takes, soldier. Now take care of what you got. Ooh, that could have a couple of meanings to it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're out here. Into the thing again. Into the breach, my son. Air conditioning, chemical warfare, all right. My favorite is chemical warfare. What's this one? Airlock and decontamination. The airlock was designed to allow servicemen to access the interior during a chemical gas attack. Cool. Hmm? This is the way out. So what's over here? Just more doors. They probably use this for storage now. Or for them to get in and out. So, turns of this door. Back up the stairs. <laughs> We've been closed in. It's over now. A heater room? Heater room. Oh, that old uniform. Cool. Power room. What's that all done? power room. Guys, can you even imagine staying in some place and that's the power generator? There we go. That's the power generator? I believe so. 
Can you even imagine that though? No, I can't. Crazy. I'm loving this part. There's an official tour you can take, but we just sort of like to go ourselves. So how we go back into the great cold wide world. It's cool. So this is the area I haven't actually been to before. It's something, Jasper something, Jasper Monument or something. So my husband just found something over here, so we're just gonna look over here really quickly. What's in here, man? Oh yeah, that's cool. This actually has a sign that says it's closed for our safety. So we're gonna look around as much as we can and then get out of here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna walk here with the camera because it, it'll be quick. See those guys? They're uh, walking their dog. This is pretty much what this place looks like. Just zoom out there. You can see where they sort of... This used to be a door and they cemented it up and you can tell that. I don't know if there's plans to keep this uh, closed or what have you. Looks like there's some signage over there, but I can't oh, read it. Generator. generator area. So this must have been where all their power stuff was kept. That might be why they're like, you guys can't come here. It may not be safe, but it does look pretty cool. So there's that. This is what I'm seeing right now. Basically just a lot of what you see over there. It is part of, I think, the World War II structure. So I'm gonna go here, see if I can see what I can see here. <laughs> oh, really nothing. Big spider, that's all. Okay. So here we go, I'm gonna back right on out of here. People do bring their dogs here, but I haven't seen any signs that say yes or no. So, you know, try it out. No dog, there you saw a sign? Okay, so actually on the fort there's a sign that says no dogs. You're not supposed to bring your dogs here. So this is pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff, guys. Pretty cool stuff. That looks kind of like what I was looking at just now. If I can zoom out a little bit. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. But yeah, you get the general, you get the gist of it. Really. Okay. All right, so that's just about it. There's a couple, or there's one other thing down here that I want to show you guys, and it's the beach. Now, you can't swim at this beach, but it certainly is beautiful. And I've actually shown it in some of the video I've already taken. So we'll be going there next. All right, guys, this is officially Sullivan's Island. This is their little placard that says, Welcome to Sullivan's Island. Now, I don't usually do audio with this video mainly because it gets so windy out here it, it just knocks your voice off you can't even really hear anything so as I go in here just be aware of that I just wanted you to enjoy the sound of the ocean be able to view some wonderful shots you really can't get any images here that are what am I trying to say? Basically, these are unique views. You'll not get it anywhere else. As you can see, it sort of takes your breath away just looking at it. I got caught up, sorry.
That's the tour boat coming in from Fort Sumter. You sit here long enough, you'll see all kinds of boats come through here. Passenger boats, carrier boats, everybody comes right through here. That's why it's so unique. And close too, not, not very far away at all. This is the same beach we saw from Fort Moultrie back there. So when you visit Fort Moultrie, we suggest that you visit this beach. You cannot swim here because it's dangerous. But just look at this. It's amazing. guys one last thing before I close out this little wander of ours is that this is the new bridge the suspension bridge which you can see from this little beach next to Fort Moultrie it's great out here you can get all kinds of different uh, you have all kinds of different photo opportunities so we highly suggest this but we highly suggest that you start um, I wouldn't say in the morning but I would say probably soon enough to do everything that you want to do because the park does close at 5 so just keep that in mind when you're going. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to rate and subscribe these videos. Until next wander guys, until next wander. I'll see you then.